Hi everyone, John Osipinski here. Research on how zombie senescent cells have been implicated in Alzheimer's. That when people are starting to lose cognition, they're, they're losing where they can't think anymore, they are finding more of these zombie-like senescent cells. And you hear me talk a lot about cellular waste and, and that's what really a senescent cell is. It's a cell in the body, we have about 5% of them in our body, that hasn't gone through the normal role of apoptosis, meaning it hasn't broken apart and gotten dissolved by the body. So it just floats around intact, giving off a substance, what it may be decaying, and that substance destroys other tissues around that cell. So a senescent cell has already been implicated in arterial sclerosis, in osteoarthritis, and in many neurological diseases. So, I don't know about you, but I am very interested in maintaining my brain and helping to keep my lymphatic system going to help eliminate these zombie-like cells or really just cellular waste that can be congesting our brain. Because in 2015, they realized that lymphatic vessels are the main, uh, that was, in 2015, they realized that there are lymphatic vessels in the brain, and that's a direct lymph brain connection that we can use to help clean the brain. And in 2017, they found out that the major outflow of cerebrospinal fluid that helps to maintain the brain is through lymphatic vessels. So if you want to maintain your brain, you have to get your lymphatic system going. Our lymphatic system maintains our cellular environment. It, help, it helps pick up the waste that can't get into your veins. So if this makes sense to you, like my post, I appreciate it. And if you have any concerns about your brain and having to be able to think and have memories as you get older, consider the lymphatic system. I don't know about where you live, but here where I live in Arizona, there are many, many, many brain uh, rehabilitation uh, clinics are coming up and also places where people will be living because they expect many of us uh, baby boomers to have Alzheimer's, to have dementia. Uh, I just saw a hotel that has over a thousand rooms just converted to a memory uh, rehabilitation. I can't think of the word right now, I apologize, but where these people are uh, placed so that they get therapy and live. So this is going to be a big problem. If you don't want to be part of that problem, start maintaining your brain. You can come see me here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I developed work called Lymph Practic that gets to the root cause. It helps to uh, slowly we get your lymphatic system working over a few sessions. We alleviate or help to break down the cellular waste and your life changes. You feel better. Uh, if you don't live here in Scottsdale, Arizona or in Arizona, you can contact me at healthylymphsystem.com. I do coaching and I also have a course on how to get your lymphatic system going. It's a virtual course. It's on demand. You can get it at any time and uh, it's life changing. We all need to know how to maintain our lymphatic system. And again, I wrote a book 12 years ago in 2006 on how all of our health problems are due, whether it's digestion, skin problems, brain problems, you have eye lesions, you have things growing on your liver or your kidney or your ovary. Your, your knees are bothering you, you're swelling, you have depression, anxiety. All of our health problems are due to the lymphatic system not cleaning a part of our body, cellular waste builds there, the senescent cells can be part of that waste, but to me it doesn't matter, there's a lot of cellular waste in our body. And when that cellular waste builds in a certain part, whether in your brain or your knee or in your, uh, your shoulder, it's gonna create inflammation and break down that area. If this makes sense, contact me. I promise my information will change your life. HealthyLimbSystem.com. Have a great day.